Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we have a live reaction replay. Uh, I know you're getting a lot of these this week. It's just, you know, I'm on vacation and I had to make uh, 10 videos in advance. So some shortcuts had to be taken. But you're going to want to stick through this one, fellas. Especially those of you that have been following my channel for quite some time. As I'm sure as you can see before you, we have a Preussen being driven by Roy in Convoy's mode on two brothers. You might see where this is going. Now, of course, with these live reaction replays, I have some idea of what happens in them, but not fully. So you guys are going to get my genuine live reactions as we go through it. So... As much as I'd like to put two and two together and be like, ah, Roy, you're going to go down the middle. We don't know if he is for sure. What I do know is that Roy has a secondary battery slash main gun build on his Preussen. He has a secondary skills equipped except for the modules where he has the secondary modules up until the last one where he has the main battery reload module, which means he has a 20-second reload on Preussen's eight 457mm guns. Observe. So, now he has this fast reload on his main gun, some pretty darn fast secondaries, and secondaries that go out to 125 kilometers. Ooh, I thought that would have been a nice hit on that Dyson. So, let's see what he's going to do here. Um, he is going out to the eastern side of the map. Now, this is a little more active than what most players and myself, I've caught myself doing, where uh, we will go to sit just at the mouth of of the uh, channel there, mainly because, ooh, nice hit on the Johan, mainly because um, usually the enemy team tries to slip a couple of ships up the middle and they just wait to nuke the convoy ships the second they get there. Looks like Roy's going a little wide first for now, if he does go, the, go down the middle again, we don't know if he if he will. So, uh, very interesting camera work here by Roy. Again, this is a replay. This is how Roy plays. It's how the man plays his game. Um, I have no control over this, so if you don't like the camera angles and stuff, well, uh, tell Roy that. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, whoop, bounces. Good. So, Preussen is essentially a GK with eight 457s instead of 12 16-inch guns. Uh, keeps the German battleship line flowing a little bit more consistently with the whole dual gun uh, setup. The dual gun syndrome that's normally experienced by ships that do have dual gun turrets, which is the effect where it seems that their shells seem to fly further apart from one another because they're further apart in the turret, is offset by the reload time, which again Roy has built into a bit with his main battery uh, build here. Well, main battery slash hybrid build here. And he's getting this very nice uh, reload time going where these are 18 inch shells being thrown out every 24 seconds. Ooh, this is Zuma. He might be going slow enough to avoid it. Ah, no, Roy just aimed a little bit, a little bit too long there. So he's got the Schlieffen marked for death of the secondary guns. Uh, Zuma threw some HE at him, just a little 3200 hit to his superstructure. He got his AS stuff. AS We got his AA going on the. Uh, what is that? A Kagi plane? No, not Kagi. That's not the Shokaku planes. What is it? 2018. Let's see. Ooh, this might be a dead Azuma here. Oh, nice hit, though. 18,000 damage. The Preussen produces some very nice round numbers because of the alpha of its shells. The Johan's coming back around, then. Apparently, he just wants more from, from Roy here. Now, the Johan has been managed to get away with just a, a mild bite so far. Let's see if that continues here with uh, Roy's Preussen. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Nice. 21,000 damage. Citadel, a pin, and a couple of overpins. The Schlieffen has one or two secondary range of the Preussen. The Preussens have the same uh, secondary guns that the GK has, all 128s, except they're in a more modern mount. Oh, that's a wonderful broadside on that Schlieffen there. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Preussen. And, oh, no, they fall just a little bit short. Now, although the Preussen does have 128s, the Schlieffen has a bunch of 105s, and, well, it just simply has more of them, as you can tell by the volley of secondary fire being exchanged here. That is a lot of guns being shot at each other at this moment. He gets a fire on the Schlieffen. Uh, Roy's health is down to 36,000. He's trying to get behind this island right here. He's just, you know, I mean, he's got to break contact with that Schlieffen. It's just going to chew him 
up just through the sheer volume of shells, as I'm sure as you can see, I'm sure as, as uh, many of you have uh, been on the receiving end of. So he's trying to get this Dyson. Dyson uh, does have a nice squishy side. Let's your shells go. His heel's off cooldown. All right, he's popped his heel, and these shells that were hurled at the Dyson... Two pins. Oh, my lord. So, Roy has what we call a tactical adrenaline rush right now, where he has gone through a rather large amount of damage, but now his reload is absurdly low. I think he's got... Ooh, I think he's got a base, like, 20 or 19 second reload on his main guns now. 19k to that FDG. Very nice. Secondaries... Segers are going to be having a freaking party now. Oh, Roy, you don't have Luchins. Oh, man. If you had Luchins, good lord. Sky's the limit at that point. Okay, so Shifin's snaking away behind the island. Shokaku's looks like he's trying to be uh, a CV and come and finish off Roy. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Maybe a fire. Yep, because it's always right when you go undetected, you get a fire on you. I expect Rory's probably going to damage con that. Oh, no, he's going to burn. Okay, there we go. Good. So, um, the single fire damage con, the dude's at 10k HP. He's behind an island. He can safely break cover and pop his damage con. He's sitting at about 97,000 uh, damage so far. He has, he has had to trade about 97,000 of his own HP to get that damage at this moment. But, I mean, hey, damage is damage. And he is alive. Now he has, let's see what the reload on his guns are right now. Dyson with the uh, spotter plane up. 19 second reload, my man. My man's got a 19 second reload. Alright, let's see if that... Maybe the long range adds to the uh, effect here. Plunging fire is a thing. Ah, unfortunately, he uh, does not get the shots on the Dyson. So this is typically how a lot of players do play Proyster now. With their main full and main battery build sitting in the back. Just letting their 18 inch guns do the work with a nice uh, reload time. Um, but of course, Roy's doing it because, well, he was down to 9k HP. Well, there's a little health Santander there. FDG at range. 10k, good chunks. Schlieffen, let's see. And keep in mind, too, um, even though he's not sitting on these guys, I mean, he's getting like 10, 8k a salvo every 19 friggin' seconds. See, that's going to add up as the match goes on. And, ah, eh, 4k, okay, that one's a little lackluster. Again, Making up for the uh, lack of absolute blappish just through the consistency of the shots. By consistency, I mean the consistency of the reload. The consistency of his rate of fire with that nice reload that he's got going on there. And... Let's see... Nah. Alright, so let's see what the situation is, lo is looking like. So, friendly team. This is convoys. They are down one ship already. Uh, one convoy ship. They're down three friendly ships to four enemy ships. Ooh, looks like they're about to lose another convoy ship there. I have never seen that convoy way out west actually get to the end. And, ooh, 15k on that Schlieff and takes it down to to triple digits. Dang, up to 128,000 damage. He's on a pretty good track so far with the damage. Ooh, friendly Rupert goes down. And the, another Liberty ship go, goes down. But the Azuma does burn out that Schlieff and that Roy helped along. It would be funny if the convoy ship actually blapped him and got him, <laughs> given how low his health was. So, uh, Roy's about to have another heal come off a cooldown. Looks like Roy's not going down middle. Looks like he's going to stick with this group on the outside. Which, granted, with his HP, I don't necessarily blame him for not wanting to go down middle. Because he doesn't really have the HP to get down middle. Because it, it's an absolute slugfest. But, who knows? We shall see as the match goes on. All right, so, ooh, look, the Shokaku. Hey, 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 somebody was slacking. All right, so he got his, he, he got his front turrets out on that. Is he going to turn? No, he's not turning out to get his rear turrets. Looks like he's just going to stick with the front turrets. Ooh, over a pin and a pin. I don't know, there we go. Now he's swinging his ship around to get those rear turrets out. He's got one more heal after this next one. Looks like he's probably going to want to save that for an engagement because that would kind of waste the heal at this point. Dyson takes out the Liberty with its secondaries. Man, Dyson's walking up the middle. Ooh, Dyson's probably going to get the friendly Hornet there. Because look at that. Ooh, nice. Citadel on the Chokaku for 19,000 damage. Almost 20. That was 50 damage. We can call that 20,000. That was 19,950 damage. So it looks like the enemy CV is going to go down here. But the Dyson, look at him. He's just walking up the middle. Just got the second Liberty ship. And he's going to get the friendly Hornet. No way that Hornet can get out there in time. So now, these two Liberty ships over here have to make it 
And there's still half of the enemy team al alive. This is a very close game so far. Because that, that Hornet's dead. Unless somehow that Dyson detonates, or the Hornet gets just a god roll off on him. That's a dead Hornet. Very close match here. And keep in mind, the enemy team does not have to sink the rest of the of the friendly team. All they have to do is sink these two convoy ships that have very low HP and that are very easy to just dunk on. So, even though it looks like they might have it in the bag, it's not in the bag at all. Yep, Dyson gets the friendly Hornet. And now that Dyson's also going to be able to just walk around the corner and come up behind the enemy team, this is not a good situation for Roy's team. But Roy is opening up on the enemy, other enemy Dyson. Let's see. Man, has a lot of broadsides. 3k to the enemy Dyson. It's kind of annoying that he's not getting better hits than this. I mean, with uh, that much side being presented to you from a free and Dyson. Oh, oh man, there goes the Azuma. Roy's well, going back over to the Dyson, trying to see if he can finish him off. His secondaries are going off on the on the FDG, not the Hipper that he selected, because the Hipper's not in range. I'm sorry, the, the rune that he selected, because the rune's not in range yet. All right, so enemy Dyson is down. The one that's not walking up the mid. They still have to worry about that one coming up behind them. There's another Azuma walking up to the end the end route position. And now his secondaries are focused on that Azuma. He's up to 190. He's about to break 200,000 damage here. So keep in mind, again, they don't have to sink Roy. They don't have to sink Roy's team. They have to sink the two Liberty ships that are coming up. Oh, come on. How's that an overpin on an Azuma? That should have been an outright pin or a Citadel. All right, so secondary is going to work now. Absolutely tearing to that Azuma. He's popping his last hill, ladies and gents. So this is it. Once this hill is done... He has expended all of his HP. Look at them the secondaries go. All right, who's next? Rune's approaching. And keep in mind, these Liberty ships are about to come around the corner. They are exposed. Their smoke screen has ran its course, apparently. So now Roy has to protect them. Otherwise, they're, they're dead. He's also the only one near the Liberty ships at this moment. All right, so the Rune is approaching. And at the moment, they are focusing on the Liberty ships. Look at the North Carolina is looking at Roy. Roy's prioritizing the rune because he can go down. The Liberty ships cannot. Great hit through the bow to the rune. 13,000 damage. Secondary still going off on uh, well, what's going on, on both sides of the ships. The FDG is now down. There you go. He gets the kill on the rune. His first kill of the game at 252,000 damage so far. Now the question is, where's that Dyson at? North Carolina is walking up. Firing at the Liberty ships. Oh my god, that first one's so low. There's a Dyson. Dyson comes out of nowhere. He's backing up, getting to position to shoot at the Liberty ships and Roy. The first Liberty ship is at 1500 HP. Is he going to make it into the cap? I don't think so. Oh my god, he's so low. Okay, so... Oh man. Roy's in a tough spot here. God dang. There went that first Liberty ship. Second one's coming around the corner. Full exposed to the North Carolina. Okay, so North Carolina is... Where's he looking at? He's looking at the Liberty ship. Roy has to... Okay, if Roy can blap him here, North Carolina does have a very exposed Citadel. I don't know about this angle, though. That might not be enough. But you see, the mission objective here is, ladies and gentlemen, is to protect the convoy. At all costs. <laughs> Finishes off the North Carolina with a ram. We sacrifice the... God, I don't know how much the the pricing would displace in uh in in uh in real life, but the multi dozen hundred thousand ton battleship for the one Liberty ship, and well, that's enough to win him the game, doing a grand total of three hundred and twenty two thousand damage, three kills, securing number one on his team with a base XP of twenty four hundred, and uh. You know, that was an entertaining match. That was a, a good old, good old secondary fest. 265 secondary hits. Man, Roy, if you had uh, Lucian's, that, 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 that would be probably around three or 400 secondary hits at that point uh, with the Adrenaline Rush and with, um, with the secondary skill going. But great match. Thank you for sending it in, Roy. Just a good old-fashioned German battleship doing German battleship things, even though it's a, it's a newer German battleship. But anyway, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday as I when I think this, or Friday, whatever day that this comes out. Have a great one.